Hey YouTube, it's EJ here, EJ's Guitars. Uh, I just wanted to share with you, I'm unboxing my first Martin guitar. I'm not a real big uh, aficionado of acoustic guitars. I like to have an acoustic, you know, just to kind of hammer out thoughts without having to hook up all kinds of equipment, just to hear a good sound, you know, without having to plug in and, and you know, kind of uh, experiment with song ideas that type of thing and plus I mean it's good to know to have some acoustic chops as well not that I do but hey you know what I'm saying anyways I've had several acoustics um, I had an Epiphone master built I can't remember the exact nomenclature of the guitar but I ended up selling it um, the electronics didn't sound that great and plus um, the uh, for me the neck width wasn't wide enough um, it was just a little bit too narrow and I got kind of a little bit of sausage fingers so uh, I was really having a hard time to do any kind of intricate fretting or anything like that so anyways I basically said the heck with and kind of gave up on messing with acoustics I do have an old cheap uh, Kona acoustic uh, in my in the other room that I would thump around on for occasionally. It's got wore out strings and nuts falling out of it, that type of thing. But anyways, um, I went to Guitar Center here recently and, and I put my hands on a Martin for the first time. And that particular model, it, evidently is hard to come by um, because nobody seems to have it in stock. Matter of fact, AMS said they had one in stock and I actually ordered it. It was a black one. It's out of their X series, uh, HPL bodies, you know, fully uh, high pressure laminate bodies. And they're made to where you can pretty much play them any, anywhere without having any kind of problems. To me. And uh, anyways, uh, they didn't have it. So I got one that was just a step above it. This is the Martin GPC X2E. And this one has, it's mahogany. Okay, it has a HPL mahogany sides and back, but it has a solid spruce top. So that, that is a difference and it's an upgrade, but it has that inch and three quarter uh, nut width, which I really found out. That's actually what I need to be playing because, like I said, mo the Yamahas, that Epiphone, most acoustics have a narrower nut. This has an inch and three quarter, and, it's, and the string spacing seems to be perfect. So, anyways, this is my first Martin, and I'm going to unbox it and share the moment with you. So, here we go. Let's find do this without tools. <laughs> now, this one actually comes with a gig bag which is pretty cool and this is it's made in Mexico okay so right on top Martin limited lifetime warranty uh, feels like there's something in here I'm not sure what's in here so, so open this up. I like stickers though maybe there's a sticker in here serial numbers through 2018 so it has all these Oh wow, from the very first time Martins were made to the present, or through 2018 anyways, a list of all the serial numbers. That's pretty cool. You don't see that, I mean, obviously Martin has a history. You have this limited lifetime warranty booklet, uh, registration card, and show your Martin pride and unlock the Martin experience today Martin's Owner Club. Huh. That's kind of cool. I don't know how you can see that. Probably can't. <laughs> but hey. Hey, you're buying a piece of history when you buy a Martin, even if it is made in Mexico. Let's go ahead and get this out. I'm recording this late on a Friday evening. I worked all day today. But... It's my first time getting it out of the box, as you can see. So this is the case. Let me set this box out of the way. Watch out, kitty cat. All right, so it's actually a very rigid gig bag. Nice big pocket here. Oh, that's kind of intuitive, the way that opens. More stuff in here. Let's see what all we got in here. Martin Care 
and feeding guide. <laughs> Uh, got, it's got Fishman electronics in it, and, uh, and I think the controls are inside the sound hole. Well, that's interesting. Martin feeding guide. I don't know what this is. This might be another saddle pin or something like that. It is. So it comes with a spare saddle pin. That's neat. <laughs> like I said, this is my very first Martin experience. Let's see how well you can see this. I'll show a closer view of everything once I get this out. Very good, well that's a, that's a really kind of a beefy padded handle there. You know, usually they're two piece and they got a Velcro, this is one piece and the zipper's on the outside. That's that's interesting, but wow. And this one, it has a, a single strap and you can hook it to either side depending on what shoulder you wanna sling it on. That's interesting, never really seen that before. Really nice case. Very first impressions. Yeah, it's good. Don't know what that's all about. <laughs> all right, here we go. It's my first time. My first Martin. GPCX2E. Solid spruce top. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, you can see this. Oh wow, look at that interior, nice blue, soft. ASMR. Nice. It's 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 not it doesn't have that nitros nitrocellulose finish on it. Proudly strong with Martin authentic acoustic strings. I guess. I don't know. I didn't. I'm not real sure what that. Is. Yeah. Lifespan 2.0. Lifespan 2.0 strings. Authentic acoustic strings. This is a really nice bag. <laughs> so let's get this out here. It's got the neck is velcroed down to this pad. That is a really nice gig bag. That's probably one of the nicest gig bags I've ever seen. I don't know what the weight of this is, but it feels really nice. So this is that mahogany HPL. And so it doesn't have that shiny finish that you see on a lot, so that's actually good. Like I said, this is that HPL is a high pressure laminate, and it's supposed to be able to stand up to outside, uh, to inclement you know, conditions on the outside and uh, without warping or whatever. It's got kind of a beveled edge on it. But the, the top on this particular one is a uh, is spruce. I think it's actually well. It looks like it's either looks like it's three pieces. Judging by this grain, looks like it's probably three pieces. A piece here, piece here, maybe four. Maybe there's a seam right up the middle. It's got this rosette. I'm not sure. That's my cat going in and out of the pet door, making that noise. Flawless fret work. Flawless. So I don't know if these, these inlays are plastic or, or mother of pearl. They look pearloid. Uh, 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 uh. That's cool. So the electronics are right here inside. Martin established 1833 X-Series, made in Mexico. CF Martin and Company Incorporated, Naz Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, okay. So that that pin was for your strap. And I remember at Guitar Center, the guy, because I told him, I said, well, are those uh, Martins in the acoustic room? Or do you have any new ones in the back? Because the one I'm looking at, it's missing the pin. And he says, no, Martins don't come with it. I don't know. I didn't know anything about Martins. It's my first Martin. But he said that, and I was kind of skeptical, and he said that, that they didn't come with them, that or they didn't come installed, that you installed them yourself. Well, now I know. So that little pin in this baggie is actually for your strap button. I thought it was a, a tuning, uh, you know, a string peg for the saddle here. But first impressions... This looks like a very nice guitar. Oh yeah, seal tuners. How we hopefully you can see that. But this this is that HPL. You can definitely tell 
I mean, it's got like a veneer on it, but you can definitely tell this is probably not real wood or solid wood, I should say. <clears throat> neck is mahogany, feels super nice. Oiled neck. So I'm gonna tune this up and see what it sounds like. So on the box that was actually printed um, to let this thing acclimate, in the winter time, it said to let it acclimate uh, 24 hours in whatever environment that you're going to have it out in. And I'm sure that's uh, a default saying for all of them. This HPL is actually supposed to stand up to, you know, kind of a little bit more radical changes in climate. So, all right, this is my first Martin, and I'm fixing to strum my very first chord on my very first Martin. Let's go with the G. No, let you know what. Let's go with the D. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm impressed sounds really good anyways uh, so here's the battery for the fish fishman electronics Scott bet it comes with the battery I don't know if it's hooked up or not I'm not sure okay so it just I can't tell it's positive or negative does it matter okay there it is So it has a little uh, sticker inside that shows you which way the 9 volt goes. It's got a springs. That's your input jack right there. Like I said, the electronics are inside the sound hole. I'll, I'll take a closer picture of this and close out this video so you can see all the details. It's got a, a plastic film over the pit guard. Yeah, I think it sounds great. It feels really good in my hand. I think this is going to be a good one. My first Martin, guys. Thanks for sharing the experience with me. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching.